welcome yet to this another piece of work today we want to look at this question you want to do as many as we can because practice actually makes perfect if you continue practicing you are going to be perfect you are provided with 2.1 gram of solid solid sodium carbonate so solid w hydrochloric acid solution y 0.2 more sodium hydroxide solution v yes the question has two parts so part one measure 60 centimeters cube of solution y hydrochloric acid and transfer it and transfer into a plastic beaker and measure its temperature one take all 2.1 gram sodium carbonate and transfer into the solution in the beaker stir with the thermometer and record final temperature reached t2 keep the mixture for part two and label it x very good so let me give you, let us use this the, the, the initial temperature in this time it was 27 degrees celsius and the final temperature is at 7 degrees celsius so let us go to calculations determine the rise in temperature so temperature change therefore the in final temperature is 37 you subtract 27 our change in temperature is 10 degrees celsius determine the amount of heat evolved by the solution density is equal one gram specific heat capacity equal to save that one so heat change how do you calculate the heat change heat change is equal to mass which mass mass of the solution that was used times specific heat capacity and then times temperature change where students get a lot of problem is this mass the solution that was used for example here we were told measure 60 centimeters cube so this is our solution we are going to calculate the mass of the solution how do you calculate the mass from a solution which is in centimeters cube it is simple we have been given density we know density is equal to mass over volume yes but we have been given density is equal one of this solution so one equal to mass that we don't have we are looking for that is the mass divided by volume what was the volume 60 centimeters cube so you multiply both side by 60 by 60 so x is 60 therefore the mass is 60 but this one is in grams if i want heat in kilojoules in kilojoules i will divide it by a thousand to make this mass into kilograms and then times specific which is 4.2 and then times temperature change which is 10. right so after doing that Use your calculator and you find out that the answer is 2.52 kilojoules. And that is the heat change. If the acid was in excess, determine the number of moles of sodium carbonate. The acid was in excess, determine the number of sodium carbonate. But we have the mass of the we have the mass of the sodium carbonate which was 2.1 yes 2.1 grams sodium carbonate having been given this rm of each element it means that we can get the the rfm of sodium carbonate but we know we know that moles mass RFM. Now we want to determine number of moles. Moles equal to mass over FM. Moles equal to mass over FM. RFM is equal to molar mass. 
therefore, the mass is 2.1 grams that was used. The RFM of sodium carbonate, sodium carbonate is written like this. This one is equal to 23 times 2 plus 12 plus 16 times 3. And this one is going to give you 106. And that is the RFM of sodium carbonate, 106. And this one is going to give us 0. 0.0198 moles. So the moles of sodium carbonate is that one. Calculate the number of moles of hydrochloric acid which reacts. Now we have the number of moles and remember sodium carbonate reacted with 60 centimeters cube of so I do uh, HCl. Therefore, we can we have to write the equation first and balance it. Sodium carbonate plus HCl. Sodium chloride plus water plus CO3. <coughs> so we can balance this equation. But we have the number of moles of sodium carbonate which is 0 0.0198 from the previous question so what will be the number you can see the ratio is 1 to 2 the ratio is 1 to 2 it means that the number of moles of sodium carbonate is going to be twice right so moles sorry moles of uh, HCl is going to be twice because the ratio is 2 so this is a uh, moles of so HCl is equal to 2 times this 0 0.0198 0 0.0396 This is the moles of HCl that reacted with the carbonate. Determine the molar heat of reaction of sodium carbonate. Determine the molar heat of reaction of sodium carbonate. Mora. Mora, you are going to find the heat in one mole. But we know then 0 0.09, 0 0.0198 moles of sodium carbonate were able to produce this amount of heat, this one. 2.52 kilojoules. What will one mole of sodium carbonate produce? So it is 1 times 2.52 divided by 0 0.0198. This one is going to give us 127.3 kilojoules per mole. But if you leave the answer like this, that is wrong because you have to tell us whether the reaction was exothermic or endothermic. How will you know? There was temperature increase. The initial temperature was 27. The final temperature was 37. That is an exothermic reaction. A reaction which releases heat. Therefore, the reaction is exothermic and you have to indicate here that the heat change is negative, indicating that the reaction is exothermic. Part 2 of the question. To the mixture in part 1, X, add 25 cm cube of distilled water and mix well. Transfer the solution in the pureed, in the pureed. Pipette 25 of sodium hydroxide solution V into the conical flask and titrate with solution X using phenolphthalein indicator. Repeat the titration two more times and complete the table below. So let me give you the value that I have chosen and the initial is that.
so I've just sent 13.5 we want to use that value so determine the average average is 13.5 plus 13.5 plus 13.5 divided by 3 and which is 13.5 centimeters cube I have always uh, advised to anyone who wants to understand these titration questions, you need to understand the procedure. What is happening in the procedure first? Solution X is the acid that remained after reacting the with the carbonate. Yes. Now this solution X, we have added more water. We have made the volume 60 plus 20, that is 80. Now we have put this solution in the puree. And we are titrating against 25 centimeters cube of sodium hydroxide. So the reaction is between HCl and sodium hydroxide. Now the difference between X and the original W is the concentration. Because we are see we are diluting the solution. Yes. So X is HCl. Sodium hydroxide solution V is reacting with X. And the volume of X used is this. It is important to understand that way. Calculate the number of moles of sodium hydroxide in 25 solution V. So this one, we have the... We know that sodium hydroxide solution V has the morality of 0 0.2 mora. This means that 0 0.2 is the number of moles in 1 liter of sodium hydroxide solution. Capital M means morality. And it indicates that 0 0.2 is the number of moles in a thousand centimeters cube. So we will ask 0 0.2 is the number of moles of solution V in a thousand centimeters cube. So we will ask what about 25 centimeters cube of the same solution V? What will be the number of moles? That is 25 times 0 0.2. Divided by a thousand. This one is going to give us zero point zero zero five moles. Determine the number of moles of hydrochloric acid that reacted with moles of twenty five in of sodium hydroxide. Uh, we know that uh, HC, sodium hydroxide is reacting with HCl, it's giving us sodium chloride plus water. And in this equation, we see that the ratio is one to one because the equation is already balanced. So it means that moles, but we know the number of moles of sodium hydroxide here. This was 25, and this one is 13.5. So the number of moles here is 0 0.005, but the ratio is 1 to 1 to 1. It means that moles of HCl solution X that was used, the volume which is 13.5 equal to 0 0.005 moles. Because the ratio is 1 to 1. Determine the number of moles of hydrochloric acid in 80 centimeters cube solution X. Now we will ask if this is the number of moles of X in 13, what about 80? So 13.5 centimeters cube solution X contains 0.005 moles. 80 centimeters cube solution X will contain what? 80 times 0.05. Give us 0 0.0296 moles. What is the total number of moles of hydrochloric acid in the original 60 of HCl? We know the number here. Yeah, this is the moles that reacted with the carbonate plus moles that reacted. With sodium hydroxide will give us the total number. 
there we used 0, 0.0 the number of moles we can check 0 0.0936 plus 0 0.0296 which will give us 0 0.06923 moles we found out that uh, moles of hydrochloric acid which reacted with the carbonate were this yes because this is the moles that was in 60 that reacted with the carbonate and the, some, the, the, the excess HCl that remained reacted with sodium hydroxide and we have also uh, calculated the moles of HCl that reacted with sodium hydroxide in the next equation here we have the number of moles of hydrochloric acid after adding 20 centimeters cube of distilled water so the volume, the total volume reached 8. Therefore the moles of that HCl is this. So for us to get the total, we add this and the moles of HCl that reacted with the carbonate to get the total moles of HCl. That's what we have done here. That's what we have done here. Adding the moles of the first that first reacted with, it was 0 0.39. 396. Yeah, with this and then this. So finally, hence determine the concentration of hydrochloric acid Y in moles per liter. Now we have the number of moles in 60 of the original. What would be the concentration? We will ask 60 centimeters cube of HCl original as 0 0.06923. We will ask a thousand centimeters cube. Will it contain what? It's a thousand. Times 0 0.06923 divided by 60. So that will give us 1.154. Oh. I've always told you that concentration in moles per liter means morality. What is morality? Morality is the number of moles in one liter. Thank you. Oh, 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 oh,